Hello guys, Shinkai here. So, Bebel just coming out today. And here I'm going to explain briefly about how to clear all of them with maximum risk. Why briefly? Because, to be honest with you, there isn't that much gimmick or complicated mechanics that you need to do for this Bebel. So, I figured that I will just make this video very quickly. So, starting with the first one. As usual, it is an uniframe stage. All you need to do is to put your uniframe with speed attack and finishing move skill unlock. Because with finishing move, you don't need to drop enemies HP to zero to kill them. So yeah, it saves a lot of time. If you haven't unlocked the skill, then good luck molding. But if you unlock it already, then there is nothing much you need to do other than dodging with speed attack. This stage has two phases. First one you fight against Solo Solar, and the second phase you fight with all of his crew. It is pretty easy, no special gimmicks. In fact, I cured with just Pulau already. All you need to do is just to stay calm, waiting for the speed attack to come out, and yeah, that is pretty much it. And for the second stage, there is no complicated gimmicks as well. The fight is pretty much simple. Just make sure you use your elemental team here because for this stage, they give you buffs that increase your elemental damage. So it is recommended to use your elemental team here. This stage also has two phases, so keep that in mind. Second phase actually hurts you a lot, so make sure you pay attention for its attack. And for the gimmicks, all you need to do is to dodge and trigger matrix once you drop the stagger bar to zero. This way, you will destroy its limb and once you destroy its limb, it will stop regenerating HP. And after that, just play normally till you defeat the boss. The third one however, I think it is the hardest among them all. Again, no special gimmicks or special mechanics that you need to do. It's just the whole fight is going to be messy and a very chaotic fight. Because Radiant Marcher or the Trailblazer here, it will summon a clone and yes, you have to fight two of them at the same time. It's going to be lasers and missiles all over your screen. It is recommended to use your physical team here because this stage gives you crit threat and crit damage buffs. But if you only have one physical team, I think it is also fine to bring your elemental team. But of course, it's, it's going to take much longer than using physical team. So if you are going to bring your elemental team, make sure to bring your strongest one. So my suggestion for this, if you only have like one physical team, for example, you only have BN correct, then try to preserve your S rank team by using your air rank elemental team for the second stage or moon eater stage for example like instead of using luna kernina and selina try to use Watanabe, vera and 21 instead this way you can use your luna team to fight against a trailblazer so yeah that's all about the video and if you don't want to battle like getting maximum score for all of this probably you only want to get all the rewards right then just clear one uniframe stage with maximum risk i think it is very easy to do if you use your strongest team like i don't know probably near or maybe your bianca team maximum risk gives you 142 points and to get all the rewards i think you only need below that it's about 120 so yeah just clear one uniframe stage and you basically get all the rewards so yeah i hope you get the whole picture about it and if you have any questions just throw it to the comment section below and i see you guys next time